Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Paradise Towers part four. This is very exciting. Well, it's not currently because it's currently around the doctor's neck. Um, but obviously I'm sure the red kangs and the blue kangs will save the day. There's work going on in the garden, so I apologise for drilling. It um, should stop soon. God, last time... I know that was Blake 7. I had a food delivery order arrive. It's just life, guys. Welcome to my world. Right. I'm assuming this is a four-parter. And I think I'm going to watch a couple of episodes today because I always say this when it comes to the end of a story. I am excited about the story to come, like the, to finish off Paradise Towers. But I'm excited to see what's going to come next, especially when we're this early on with the Doctor. But I'm also apprehensive because of, you know, the mixed opinions of you guys out there. So, but I'm, I'm I just, I don't know. I don't want to I don't want to say too much about this doctor. I don't want to get my own hopes up. I just have a good feeling. That's all I'm saying. Not like not like John Pertwee level. Probably like I'm probably at like between fifth doctor and second doctor level at the moment. Like that's the excitement I'm getting. That's my doctor scale, by the way. My really professional dog to scale. Yeah. Right, let's go. No! That was easy. stay locked up in his basement much longer. He's bound to show himself in one form or another. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was oh, really lovely. You really ought to come and join me, pet. It'd be a while ago. No. He's taking over the building floor by floor. Return to Red Kang Base and wear cleaners. Build high for happiness. Is Firescape going to join us? Are all the Kangs here? Red, blue? Those who have been made unalive. What? Do what shall I do? No, just swim and get out of the bloody pool. I love that she's still got a full face of makeup on. <laughs> What's that? What? Oh, there's a rustling sound coming from over there. I only checked it a few minutes ago. Shall I go? If you want. <laughs> Nothing there? No. Sure? Of course. See for yourself. Oh. <gasps> I'm sorry to give you such a shock, Mal, but this is where the cleaner service lift appears to come out. Oh, Doctor, it's so good to see you. <laughs> and oh. you, Mal, and you. Did Mel make the creature on the life for you and stop you being taken to the cleaners? Then Mel is a Kang after all. I'll show you all. I will put the world of Paradise Stars to rights. Oh, yes? Yes. You're a cowardly cutlet pet. Despise poor old pet. Oh, he might end up sacrificing up himself. Delighted. How are we going to unite the people of Paradise Towers to defeat him? We, the resis, the remaining resis, that is, want to talk to you all. I think we may need your help. Why, Chiefy, I thought you were lost. I... Well, well, I think you may recall that there are 
certain cases specified when the rule book can be overridden. And, and, and that is when the chief caretaker yes. just isn't the chief caretaker. Oh. Good. I, I like the deputy. We're very sorry for what we did, and we won't do it again, if we all survive, that is. We need each other's help. Are you clans? What do you say to that? We work with resis. No to do. We work with pecs. No to do. But the Why are you so against Pat? Never, ever! <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, Pat, you're not going to. I'm sorry to intrude like this. But I wondered if I might have a word with you all. I have nothing to fear. Nobody knows my paradise towers better than I do. We have very little time, so we must think clearly. The Kroagnon, as we now must call the Chief Caretaker, is firmly installed in your headquarters. Am I right, Deputy Chief? Yes, Doctor. So we must find a way of getting him out again. Sergeant Chapman! Precisely. We used to do that a lot with the rats. <laughs> but what about the cleaners? We seem to be getting somewhere. Oh. I feel like Mel's going to stay. Time to see what the human garbage is up to in the swimming pool zone. Surveillance of the swimming pool is not allowed. Not allowed. Please, please! What's the big problem? How to persuade Coagnon to leave his safety and come to a place of our choosing where we can trap and defeat him? He'll never leave there until we're all wiped out. We'll never manage to break in. I should know that. I will go to Coagnon. I am Pex, and I am the. I can't, they can't lie! <laughs> well, you all have tasks to do. Caretakers, residents, Kangs. Why should only Pex be left out? Pex, the trained fighting machine. Pex, the only. Pex, Pex, the only one. Pex, are you sure you want to do this? Hello there, Kragnon. This is the doctor speaking. I don't believe we've met. Oh, no doubt you've heard of me. I thought so. Anyway, I have heard so much about Paradise Towers, I thought I'd come and take a look. He's terrifying. Now, are you clear what you have to do, Pex? And you are sure you want to go through with it? I won't be on brave again. Remember, Pex, you must get him out of the caretaker's headquarters as quick as you can so that he doesn't see what's happening to the cleaners. But then once he's out, take as long as you can. We need time. No heroics. Just a quick clear head. I can manage. Good luck, Pex. I've been asked to give you this, Pex. It's a can bracelet. They wanted to give it to you. You say you could lead me to the so-called doctor who dares to mock me? Yes. He and the other, um, mobile rubbish have found a place to hide that they think you don't know about. Is it not some trick, is it? <laughs> no. 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 I've only just begun to enjoy walking around my marvelous towers in this body. I wouldn't do very kindly with anybody who was stupid enough to lay a trap for me. It's the fact they've given him like a silver layer makes him look freaky. Not frightened, are you? That should do it.
our escape. Now, have you managed to remove the Kang Wall scrolls from the TARDIS as you promised? Old high for happiness, Doctor. Oh, thank you very much. No, Doctor. Well, you never can tell. I thought that was actually quite a sad ending, to be honest. I'll tell you what I do need to do. I need to start writing down my scores as I give them because I never do. And I need to go back through for the whole sixth doctor and write down my scores. And I don't know why I just don't do it as we go. So Mary Claire, after nearly five years of reacting to Doctor Who, is finally learning her lesson. Right, so I did say that I thought maybe Pex was going to sacrifice himself. It was just one of those typical, you know, someone thinks you're a coward and you, I didn't think he was like, he was going to explode. The, um, the guy who plays the, is it Richard Briers? I'm just going to quickly look him up. Oh, it's him. What have I seen him in? He's so cute. He was in Spice World. That's crazy. Monica of the Glen. Sorry, I'm just looking up the actors involved because I really liked the deputy, Clive Merrison. Sorry, I really, really enjoyed Clive Merrison. Really enjoyed him. Okay, anyway, sorry. Um, I really enjoyed Paradise Towers. There was with the, when they were all up in the in the pool area, and the music's playing. I was like, this is like some bizarre soap opera. That's how it felt. I adored the music. Um, when the uh, the the chief caretaker became the creature, incredible, incredible. I, I really liked that almost like silver look he had. I really, really liked it. Now, I liked the Kangs. Do I, I don't know it. I, I did like the Kangs, but I don't know how much I enjoyed them. I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> I liked the Kangs. But I feel like it would have been a darker story if maybe we didn't have the Kangs and we had more like dark residents or something like that because of, you know, we had Tabby and Thingy, Tilly, whatever the names were. What am I going to give it? Hmm. What did I give Time in the Rani? Six? This is only his second story. It's not a 10 out of 10, but I think it's more than an 8. I always find it really hard when you start a new Doctor because normally I can compare to other stories, but I like to kind of... Like, I, I wouldn't want to compare an, an 8 out of 10 seventh Doctor story with a sixth Doctor story because they're just different entities. Um, I think I'm going to go, is it a nine? I don't know because I really liked the music. I loved the set, especially with the pool setting. But I kind of wish we'd had a bit more of like this Paradise Towers that it had promised. So maybe seeing a bit more, um, a bit more areas like where the pool was, you know, they had to say, well, I suppose we had like the residents when we saw inside the residents where they lived but I, I think I wanted a bit more of that seeing that contrast between Paradise Towers and actually how it's ended up hmm uh I think I'm gonna go with an 8.5 I feel like 8.5 is fair 8.5 is strong and it, it just doesn't quite feel like a nine but I really did enjoy it the music was great I really liked the supporting cast yeah okay i'm going 8.5 said it and i've actually 
written my scores down. Miracles happen, guys. Let me know what you would give that out of 10. And on to another story. <sighs> Who knows what we can expect? Could be anything. Um, but yes, I will see you very soon for a brand new story.